Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. In this lesson, I want to cover one of the important topics in your mathematics N2 and uh, that particular topic is factorization. Um, it is very important for you to understand some of the concepts that are involved in factorization. So this is a previous uh, question paper. I mean a question that I took from a previous question paper and I think it was in 2018. It says factorize the following expression and they are giving you this particular expression which is x squared y plus x squared minus 4xy minus 16. They want you to factorize um, that expression. But now, whenever you're factorizing, as you can see, it is important for you to first check how many terms you have. In this case, we've got one, we have two, we have three, we have four terms. Why am I saying that? Whenever there is a plus, a minus and a minus it means these terms uh, these signs are separating the terms so this one is the first one separated by a positive sign that's the second one separated by a negative sign that the third one separated by a negative sign that's the fourth one so when i'm doing that i'm going to factorize by grouping and how do i do it i can consider the first two and group them together and then consider also the last two and group them together but now when you are grouping this together you can rewrite this expression then as x squared y plus x squared right so this will be grouped together then you put a positive sign because it doesn't affect anything then you have minus 4xy minus 16 so that's what i mean when i'm saying you can group them like that there must be a positive sign that is separating the first from the second bracket now when you've done that what you need to do is to look at what is common uh, in the first bracket now we have a positive sign between x squared y and x squared so we can see that x squared and x squared is common because it is repeating so we can take it outside the bracket and when we do that if i can have one side where i'm showing you the working so when i do that so the first two remember i've got x squared y and i've got x squared so when i'm taking the x squared out what i'm doing i'm dividing by x squared and I'm dividing by x squared. That is what it means when I'm taking out the x squared so that when it cancels, you'll be left with y and then when it cancels here, x squared into x squared, remember, it's common to say it's nothing, but the answer there is that it's a one. So when you write then, you're going to have a y plus one. Then you move on to the next one. As I said, let's put a, uh, a positive sign and then what you are looking for is what is common again in uh, you can actually ignore the signs for now and then you can focus on the numbers and the unknowns you have got 4xy and 16 you can see that uh, x and y is not in 16 so we can leave out the x and y but 4 and 16 uh, something is common so if i can take uh, my 4xy it's minus 4xy and minus 16 
and I'm dividing now by remember I'm, I took out in this case I uh, I took out 4 and then when I'm going to divide by 4 I'm going to have 4 into 4 is a 1 then and 4 into 16 is a 4 so it's minus 4 and minus x y so when I write it it will be minus x y minus 4 so basically um, that is what I'm having actually yes it's minus x y minus 4 so basically that is what I'm having so I can see now the aim remember when they say I need to factorize uh, by grouping what I'm having I'm having y plus 1 in one bracket and on the other bracket I'm also having in this case minus x minus 4 now when you've got it like this the aim of factorizing by grouping is to make sure that this bracket and this bracket is the same so when it does that it means the way you grouped uh, your expression needs to be changed because when you grouped it like this it is not going to match this bracket so what you do you do again your second trial so we say this is our first trial let us look at our second trial now in our second trial what we have you can write again we have got x squared y now remember we want to group them again so i'm going to group these two together so that and when i'm grouping it moves with the sign it will be minus 4xy and then after that i'm going to group these two together because they are the ones remaining but remember it moves with the sign so it's a positive x squared and then it's minus 16. so this is just rearranging the terms and when i have done that i can then write them in the new way whereby i've got my x squared y minus 4xy put a bracket and then you've got plus again i have got x squared minus 16 and you put a bracket so when we have done that you uh follow the same thing that we did uh previously to say in this case you look at the first you have got x squared y and you have got x y so you can see there is an x and you have an x we have a y and we have a y so now x squared and x you take the smaller power which is power one which is x so in actual fact what we are doing now we are going to have x squared y and we are going to have minus 4xy and this time Remember I said x squared, you take the smaller power which is x and then y and y is just the y there. So if we're going to have that outside the bracket, it means we are dividing both items by xy as the common factor and xy there. So the x will cancel the x squared. Remember x squared means it's x times x. So it's like you're cancelling one and one will remain. Or alternatively, you can cancel the two and then say two minus one, you'll have one y, one x remaining. And the y will simply cancel the y. So that uh, you'll be remaining here with only x as you can see. And then in the second one, the x cancels the x and the y cancels the y, you'll remain only with a four. So you'll be having x minus 4 so that is what you're having in the first bracket then you say plus now you look at the second one between x squared and minus 16 and if you look at that x squared minus 16 if you remember the difference of two squares whereby if you are given x squared minus 16 it is same as 
in this case it is x squared minus 16 is same as 4 squared 16 is a square so this is a difference of two squares and how do you solve the difference of two squares it is whereby you have two brackets with x and 4 x and 4 the first one is x minus 4 then the other one is x plus 4 so that is a difference of two squares so you will have that as x minus 4 and x plus 4 now when you have done that there is something interesting that i want you to then notice at this stage you can see in the first one you have your x minus 4 in bracket and after the positive sign which is separating the two you also have x minus 4 so it means there is something common between these so we can then move on to take out x minus 4 and what we are doing we are going to say in the first part where you had x y and you have got x minus 4 and the second part you have got x minus 4 and you have got x plus 4 remember I'm dividing by the common factor there we say it is x minus 4 and here also it is x minus 4 so if you cancel that and cancel that you are left with x x y there and if you cancel that and cancel that you are left with x plus 4 so that's what you'll be remaining in bracket so you can actually have that bracket as in this particular case x y then you have got plus because there was a plus sign which is this one so you've got plus and then you've got x plus 4 so when you have done that you have managed at this stage to factorize as they say uh, this particular term um, that's how you would have uh, factorized it I know it can continue to be x minus 4 that is still allowed and then you can actually uh, have a bigger bracket here and you say to yourself but there is something common between x y and x plus y whereby you will have your x and then y will remain plus 1 like that and then you have plus 4 like that but anyway it was not something common but you can uh, actually leave it like that this is in its fully factorized version if ever you wanted to uh, take it that far but at this stage I think that was sufficient enough for them to give you all your full marks I hope this was of benefit to you remember if you want to be notified of uh, this type of lessons every time we post them uh, you can subscribe to our channel um, or you can actually uh, press the like button so that um, you can be always notified of our new videos. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you are studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you 
uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.